All right, this is right where we left off in the last session. We are we are going to find out what boss's sussy behavior on this timeline was. Tuesday, Jedi. And this is with Renju dead, by the way. This is important. Because Renju is dead, that means that Pewter will not betray us. Because Pewter is only Pewter is only helping Renju because Pewter is Renju's lover. That is so Sajima. With his eye plucked out. Why? Okay, now I don't even need to recap Why? it. Why? Boss. And Boss did it. And we haven't been able to find Boss in this route What's for a while. Why did Boss kill So? Where was Boss for Shoko's murder? Shoko was killed around 5 p.m. Friday. What was Boss doing at that time? Unknown. What about Renju's? What about Saturday, 8 p.m.? The time Renju was killed? Similarly unknown. I don't like that. What about Iris and Ota being cut in half? What time for that one? Iris and Ota were killed at different times. I was watching the stream on the call with Boss. Only the first few minutes. The polar bear had not yet appeared on stream. It is possible that she made the call from somewhere off camera. Where was Boss's phone at the time? Check her cell records. She did not call from a mobile phone. She used a PC. Using a VPN service, she could have accessed her Abyss PC from the warehouse and made the call. Nord VPN. <laughs> Boss could be the killer. Boss is the new Cyclops killer? Shoko, Renju, Iris, Ota, So, Boss killed them all? I don't I don't know. Evidence makes that a likely possibility. It is possible and probable, which is way more than we've been getting. So also had his left eye removed. Identical to Shoko, Renju, and Iris. Shit, Ducky. shit, shit. I know where the boss is. Where? I picked up her GPS. Where? She is now at the Sagan residence. Oh no, no! Somewhere inside Hitomi's house. She's cleaning up. She's cleaning up loose ends. What? Go, 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 go! Don't let Hitomi die! <laughs> Go, 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 LAPD! I drew my gun from my holster and barged into the house. Police! It's on me. It's on me. I called for her, but there was no reply. I didn't see Boss either. Iva, call Boss's phone. On it. In the couch? I hear a phone vibrating. Where is it coming from? In the sink. On the sink. The boss's phone. Oh shit. Hey, there's some milk in a magazine, bro. Have a nice little drink in her house. Konami Date, you were under arrest for murder. <gasps> we're what framed. Drop your weapon. Comply. We were framed by boss? Are you serious? Boss. No shot do you frame me for this? Did you kill the five victims? Are you kidding me? You're the new Cyclops killer. What? Why do you think that? You put a gun to So's head and pulled the trigger. I saw it with my own eye. Shut up! Shut up! Stop lying! Where the- where is Satomi? I don't know. She was gone when I got here. 
Why did you come here? Why would I tell you? <sighs> Why would you tell me? Because we work together, motherfucker. What the fuck are you doing? I ask you the same thing. You killed Shoko Nadami, didn't you? That's ridiculous. What are you talking? You about? have my alibi for that day, you jackass. Don't lie. Like. Oh, I'm a, I'm a, find me a way to kill boss and all five of these people. Are you going to fight? I have no choice. I recommend against it. You have zero chance of winning a firefight. Then find me a way to escape. Well, then what can I do? Let me think. Find me a way to escape. I need to get out of here. What is that on the kitchen table? Could it be your favorite thing? What? The magazine. You want me to look at a magazine now? Just look. It can't be. This is the stuff of legends. Only the most diehard fans have ever laid eyes on it. Hey, tell me a diehard fan. Pepe Jam now. All right, what's next? What? We need to we need to get Date to move at supersonic speed, which he can only do if he's excited. And the easiest way to get him excited is for him to look at scantily clad magazines. It makes perfect sense. Date, do not question it. Oh shoot! Yes, ma'am. Firebomb bullets. Didn't even know I had those. Yes, ma'am. Loaded. In hand. Firing. Save the magazine at all costs. 69. <laughs> it's all coming together. No chance to win, she says. Roast them all at once. Not even close. Ha! No chance to win. I got Ibo on my side. Alright, let me go ahead and dome boss now. They're not dead. They're knocked out. I wish I wish they were dead. She is probably just unconscious. See? Her right shoulder and left leg suffered damage. But she will live. They got probably some severe burns, but they're all, they're alive. I didn't kill anybody. A dust explosion, huh? Good thinking. Thank you. But you could have just had me throw the bag of flour. That would have been too slow. To improve your reaction time, I had to improvise. Mm-hmm. Anyway, let's have a look. Hey, this is just a cooking magazine. All right, let's go ahead and sync with Boss and figure out what's going on. Boss is still unconscious. However, her brainwaves are stable. Syncing with her shouldn't be an issue. You're a piece of shit. Date, talking to her would be pointless. You do know that, don't you? I decided to sync with her, asking questions would be wasting time. Besides, even if she was awake, I can't imagine she'd take kindly to interrogation. Hitomi still hasn't been found. I got a bad feeling about this. There's a good chance that Boss knows where she is. How would I get that information? Getting in her head would definitely be the quickest way. That's why I brought her here. You better have drugged her, Pewter! She has broken her right shoulder, as well as the fibula of her left leg. Oh, that was a big explosion. But her brain is perfectly healthy. You can sync with her. Alright. What's got you so cooperative? I know that the boss is my enemy. I got the video from Iba. I processed it and found that it showed no sign of tampering or editing, which means there can be no mistake. The boss shot and killed Sosejima. 
after pulling out his left eye. In this timeline. That makes the odds of her being the culprit behind the other murders very high. Or maybe she had accomplices. Either way, she's a criminal. That's why I am cooperating with you, Special Agent Date. Because she could have killed Renju, so you're gonna help me figure it out. I want it as bad as you do. The truth. It's a fat cat, but time to sync with time to sync with her. Computer, are the preparations done? Ready anytime. Let's get started. Good. <sighs> Should have strapped her to the chair. Dante. Yeah, six I minutes. Know. Six minute time limit. I feel we'll Dante so much. Up. Well then, let's begin. Dante's my homie. Oh, good. The abandoned warehouse. Glad we're <laughs> glad we're back here again. Shick, shick, shick. Time to loosen up. Do you always have to come in like that? It is of the utmost importance. At a time like this? Times like this are perfect. Anyway, it appears to be an abandoned factory of some kind. What could Boss be hiding here? A sink machine, for one. Somnium scan! Activate! Open the door to Boss's truth. Boss is hiding something. Reveal the truth of the new Cyclops serial killings. Save the game. Alright. Door zero. A rusted metal door. <laughs> that we are we cannot leave. Uh, that is not an option. A rusted metal door. Break the lock with the pick. That's gonna take up too much time. Let's look around first. Sixty-six whole seconds to break a lock. That's excessive. Oh, hello. A door that looks like the anywhere door. Open it. Hmm? It appears to be locked. It's a shame. But I got what I came for. Now it's been 66 seconds to open a door. A rusted metal door. I guess we could put the kick in the pick in the keyhole. It is no use. Won't work as a key. That's a shame. A rusted metal door. Oh. Oh, it didn't let me select it. A rusted. Break it then. Break the lock with that. Roger. All right, open it. Lovely. Shoko being murdered. At the warehouse.
boss's keys, maybe? Several keys have fallen. One of them must be the right one. I do not have time to try all of them. Hopefully there's some kind of sign. Indeed. Well. Shoot, they were stabbed with a pick, so. Minus 10? Let's try that door again. The door only took 10 you seconds. You've got five minutes. A door that yeah, yeah, using the big brain. I ain't stupid. I ain't stupid. All right, we can't try all of them, so. There's a bloody key. There's one key that's in with a pick, so I'm inclined to think it's this one. It's a key. Pick it up. The ice pick is next to this key. It appears to be correct. That's what I said. The tag is labeled A. I was right. Give me some credit. That must mean you can use this key for something labeled A. Come on. Giga brain as me. Now one second timer. Oh yeah. A door that looks like the anywhere door. Go ahead and open it up. Perhaps we can use the key I just picked up. Yeah, try that. It opened. Is this a memory? Nope, it's just a black mist. Okay. Yeah, true. Hey, hey, you know what? You're not wrong. But if even if I do do that, um, there's a there's a skull next to it with 999 on it, which means my next action is multiplied by 99 times. 999 times. So. If that door doesn't open, then it doesn't matter after that. I still get fucked over. I think they knew you were extra giga brain than me. Hmm. Quite the troublesome dream. Okay. Here's the second door. A door with B written on it. Uh, tackle it open. Well, that was easy. It was. <laughs> hey, let's go. <laughs> hmm. This is the second floor, but it is clearly not the door I just opened. It's like a maze. I have to remember what door goes where. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, so... Door B... Takes me... Where's the map? So B takes me to B with an asterisk. Oh, okay, I guess it only shows B with an asterisk. It'll take me across, it'll take me across is where it'll take me, basically. That's all I need to know. Where is C gonna take me? Door C. Uh, go ahead and kick this one. That might have been a little much. Oh, we're on the second floor again. We leave the second floor and come right back to it. This is confusing. Okay. C takes me to. Where does C take me to? Ah, C takes me to the other side of uh, that. Okay. So where's that barrel? It's over there. That barrel's over there. We can walk around to it. We don't really care about the shelf. We care about what it's connected to, which is this drum. Go ahead and knock this down. An oil drum hung with wire. Uh, go ahead and lift it up. Oh. I guess it didn't work. It's no use. You could have told me earlier instead of wasting time. Excuse you. 
Is that really something you should be saying to the one making all the effort? There's a difference between being stubborn and not knowing when to quit. Huh. Okay. Well, we just got. That's only seven seconds. That's fine. An oil drum. Go ahead and push it. There we go. Oh. Guess you should check that door. A rusted metal door. Ooh. Okay. That's not going to work for us right now. Huh. Well, that's not good. If I open it, we're done. Let's take door E, e or D for now. We can't go down anymore. I guess let's take E for now. E with an asterisk or E regular? I guess I'll take E regular for now. Door E. Gives us a one second timer. That'll be fine, but. Okay, where's that take us then? Okay, E leads into. It's. E, e up top leads into a the other E. Door E. All right, where is E Astros take us though, if we take it first? Okay, both E's lead into each other. They're a waste of time. Cool. Uh, where does D take me? The... It is locked. D is locked, okay. Hmm. If that is the case, let's go across here. You have three minutes, Dante. What? Hello, collectible. I was just mashing X, but hello, I'm glad to select you there. Okay, so all these doors, useless. Do absolutely nothing for me. No reason to be over here, is all I'm seeing. Can I go down here? here? No, I can't. Is this worth opening this test up? Do you think? A rusted metal. Actually, it is worth it. Yeah, because we have a one second one, and it's only times ten. It does not appear to be locked. That was dumb of me. Well, actually, it was smart of me, but oh, <gasps> it's how Renju died. Strangled by some pipe while he was drunk. No, that's a that's a cloth. And there's his watch. This again. His watch is next to one of these keys. So we can't just grab one. We have to be careful. Okay. Well, first things first. We have to go back to door D because it took one second. Key 250. I have to check the time on the on the fucking key. I don't know what time his watch was at. Oh, let me. Yeah, let me do that first. There we go. It's a key with a watch. The hands indicate eight o'clock. Eight p.m. is when he died, so I guess that could work. Is this the correct answer? Saturday night at 8 matches Renju's estimated time of death. D is written on the tag. Holy shit. I'm like a half guessing, using half using educated, and I am getting rewarded. This feels so I good. Try the key. Yeah, try it. Paying attention to the case has actually rewarded me for once in my life. It opened.
Door three is cold. This door two. Gotta thaw this one out somehow. Control panel. Rows of monitors and buttons. Investigate. <laughs> This appears to be old. Did we just teleport inside? I believe this computer controls the factory's electronics. It appears to require a key to activate. Okay, so we need a key for the... It did teleport me inside. That's funny. Okay, we need a key for that. We don't care about that door right now. A broken pipe. Uh, kick the... No, don't kick it. Cover it. Cover it, it'll explode. You want me to cover this hot hole? Yeah. yeah. You're making me do some dangerous things. Yeah, I'll have to use your hand. Perhaps that will work? Yeah. That works. <laughs> this won't be easy to cover. Okay, so I didn't cover it completely, but it did leave something on the ground for us. Shit, it's kind of hard. I don't think I have another way around this. Uh, try kicking this for now. There we go. I think we needed to do both of those. Oh, it's just as I calculated. You were surprised, admit it. We have a one second on us. A rusted metal door. I think I can open this door. Oh, I didn't need to see that again. Oh, you're going to make me watch it. Oh, you're going to make me watch it from a different POV. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. This key has control panel written on the tag. Control panel? The one right there. Well, it only took one second to investigate, so we may as well do that. Rows of mon yep. There we go. Rows of Takes five seconds to insert the key. Just go ahead and make that by half to save our some some time. Oh. So. So there's a new path now. If we move the scaffold, a new route appears. Okay, let's move it. Rows of. Uh, rotate the key. Uh. There we go. It shrunk. And now that it's shrunk, go ahead and press the switch. Okay, I don't know which way that went. Oh, but that's, no, that's the second floor. That's the second floor. Okay, and go ahead and go ahead and rotate the key again. Okay, that should be right outside of our door. Yeah, that's right. That's right outside our door, I believe. Now we can use the route to door B. That means I just need to open the B asterisk door. Take D, take door D. Go around. Door D, go around, take C. And then take B. Okay. 
and that's wherever that bridge got connected, which is over here. No, over right there. It's, where are we? We are right there. D. Door. We need to take that all the way around to see. I know, I'm doing my best. Doors. And now it goes to door D with an asterisk. Yep, there we go. Door B. Uh, just make it one second. Save us some time. No point in holding it. All these seconds really count right now. And now we take the pathway we just made over. And this is the only way we can go is through F. Door F. This is the first time we've seen it. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and kick it open then. <laughs> This is the first time we've been here. That big door. If we can see what's in there, we'll figure something out. Dante, 30 seconds. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. That's where we came from. Uh, fuck. Okay. Cord. A power cord. Get shot. Date, we've known each other for a long time. Yes. I know that you are joking, but could you please consider the appropriate time? I wasn't joking. You're seriously lecturing me right now? I wasn't joking. Excuse me? Sorry, ma'am. I wasn't joking. I really needed you to try that. A 30 second timer, that's not gonna work. I guess we just have to hope one of these is right. A power cord. Uh, kick it. Time on. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You just have to kick it. If this were pointed. No. Yeah, we're out of time. Date, there. Damn it! What the? Okay. Um. Fuck. We try from that last lock we were at. Dude, we lost a lot of time from here to here, but let's just try it from this lock. Because we have this now. Let's save it here. Right, let's save it here. Yeah, let's save it here. In case we get kicked out completely, I do not want to do all that again. We need to open the fourth door, which means we need to get the key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we need to use this on the investigate. Use the one hat. Nope, not the one half on that. We can just save that one half. Rosa. Insert the key. There. Oh. So. Yep. I yep. See. Yep. We move the yeah. scaffold. Rosa. First, we're going to first we're going to rotate the key. Uh. Make it smaller. Truck. 
then we are going to press the switch. Oh, I see. And then we are going to rotate the key again. We're gonna leave here. Now we can use the route to door B. And we're gonna take D up to C up to B. Door. Takes ten seconds to open. Let's make it five and save that one second timer. That was so close timing. Door. Door C open. Door. In one minute. Hurry. This one will make one ninth, just to save ourselves some time. And we walk across the scaffold team to the door. Because there's nothing else we can investigate over there. Door F. And can only, we'll take Take the one sixth. No, let's just kick it open. The first floor. Down here. There is nothing else for us to investigate other than this ladder and door F, so we need to take the ladder. An iron Uh Lift it. Climb up. Just climb up it. Climb up it. Yeah. Are you serious? You can't. Son of a bitch. That's not good. I passed through it. Oh, behind us. Lift it. Oh shit. Okay. 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 The dominoes. The dominoes. An iron light. You need. No, you need to tackle it. You need to tackle it. Ready? I hope I am. Okay, we should be able to get to the door from here. This somnium is awfully dangerous. Hey, that door. Maybe we can open. Oh. A rusted Dante, you're open the door. Yes, do not worry about the time. I'm going to open it. So said you might be in shot. So yeah, boss committed all of them. That's what this is telling me anyways. That was all four doors. Oh, I did that with like two seconds to spare. I completely forgot about the do do domino helmets. I mean mannequins. And now we can see all the murders in real time. That's... It's a boss. Iba, return to the control room on the third floor. At once. Oh, we can use the camera to see all of them. This happening. Is this still boss? Is this boss doing this or no? No, it's Renju? And who's killing Renju? Iris? Is Iris killing Renju? Iris is killing Renju. And Ota is killing... Ota kills Iris. No! Oh, so Sejima kills Iris. Okay, he kills them both then. 
and then the cycle continues with boss. Everybody's been what killed. The hell is going on? Everybody's been killed by the previous by the next victim. What's that one? What is that? What is in there? Tate, what are you doing? What do you mean Six what am I? Wait, wait! It's only is Tate, you can't go any longer! Force shut down! Fuck. No! Where is that? Where is Hitomi? If that's right, then that means Hitomi would have killed Boss if he had let things go on, if that's the um, assumption we're going on. Tuesday. 3 a.m. I took a look around your head, and I discovered something. Something about the new Cyclops serial killings. Apart from Ota, there are four victims. Shoko Nadami, Renju Okiura, Iris Sagan, and So Sejima. Who was responsible for these murders? Shoko was stabbed by Renju with an ice pick. Renju was strangled to death by Iris. So cut open Iris's body. But who shot So? It was you. In other words, all of these murders were committed by different people. There wasn't just one killer. That's how it looks on the surface, anyway. But... That's not the truth, is it? There's only one culprit. One person. And that person is... It has to be you. Yes, you. The person in front of me right now. You're blaming the commander of Abyss for this? No, not boss. The person inside boss's head. Can you at least try to make sense? Oh, right, because somebody could have swapped. Somebody could have swapped. Like, they sync with... Oh shit, the Cyclops killer could sync with uh, fucking Renju, kill Shoko, do all those things as Renju, leave, sync with a new, sync with Iris, rinse and repeat, sync with So Sejima, rinse and repeat, and now, and back to boss. Alright, I'll explain. You know about the abandoned chemical plant in Kabasaki? There's a prototype sync machine there. You use that device to swap around bodies one by one. And this is something Date should not know on this path, I don't think. I don't think Date should know about that. In other words, the entire egg ends up being replaced. This is something we just learned on that other path. This Date should not know about that. But because of how our memories are merging, we know this. Mind, consciousness, memory... They are traded. Switched. I don't know where it started, but at some point, you got into Shoko's brain. Then, you got into Renju's. And got rid of Shoko's body. After Renju was Iris. You strangled Renju using Iris. After that, into So. Who you used to kill Iris and Ota at the cold storage warehouse. Now, you're in Boss's body. Inside her head. I see. If you know that much, then I have nothing left to hide. Yes. 
I am the culprit behind the new Cyclops serial killings. I guess you can call me the new Cyclops killer. Who is inside Iris during the interrogation Sunday? That was me. You imitate her well. From the way you talked in your body language, it was like the real Iris. You imitated them all pretty well. Earlier, too. You almost had me fooled. Yeah, it was the stammering is what didn't seem out of character, but it, then it made sense that you're not her. She wouldn't stammer like that. Your imitation of Boss was perfect. Yes, there's a reason for that. Let me define some terms first. A person's memory and sense of self. Let's call that personality. It isn't quite the right word, but it'll suffice. Now, transferring that personality into someone else's brain, let's call that parasitism. The one transferring is the parasite. The one being transferred into is the host. Right. Are you with me so far? Moving on. Even after the personality exchange is complete, the host's memory isn't completely lost. About 1% remains in the brain. So, a parasite could use that 1% to imitate the language... What do you mean? I mean, Eccles, I got a pop. That's how I knew about the warehouse and Sunfish Pocket, by the way. Thanks to Renju and Iris's remaining memory. Are you talking about the suspect? I'm telling you, it was me. Why are you making me repeat myself? That means the Somnium I entered on Sunday. That's why it was so freaky. It was me. That's why the murder scene was so freaky. Because, how does he know about the original Cyclops guy? Because they are, and something else was troubling me. What's going on here? Who are you then, originally? Saito. Saito oh, okay, Sajima. so you are Saito Sajima. Congressman Sajima's son. What? I researched Saito thoroughly, but I cannot find any images of him on the internet. He is listed on the family register. But I cannot find any photographs. Tell me how each crime went Before down. Before I do, there's something I want to hear from you. How did you know about the prototype sink machine? Yeah, it's a great... We shouldn't know about it. And not only that, you also seem to know what the sink machine is truly capable of. Why is that? That's... I don't Regaining know. Regaining your memories, are you? Human memory is fractal. If you retain even a single piece of it, it's possible to recreate the whole thing. Pieces of memories are like roots that grow into every corner of the brain, gradually, slowly taking its time. I imagine the same thing is happening in your brain right now. A fractal is a figure with self-similarity. Allow me to explain. Please do. See this? Whichever fragment you the cock curve. You see a similar <laughs> shape. The whole is made up of its similar parts. This is called a fractal figure. Memories in the brain are similar. That is what he is explaining. He is claiming that from a few pieces, you can rebuild the memory. So we've been rebuilding our memories this whole time by going down these different paths, and that's why we couldn't unlock different things until now, because we were rebuilding the information network that we needed to actually solve the case. I knew about the prototype from regaining my memory. Is that right? No, that's not it. Parallel worlds exist. That's what seems more likely, because we can't remember something happening if two different events occur completely. We don't remember Renju. We don't remember Renju taking off with So Sejima because he never did in this line. In this line, Renju died being killed by Saito. Fine, I still have time. Time. You'll see. 
before you get ejected out of that body, maybe, because you're not compatible. So, where do you want me to start? It's just past midnight on Tuesday. Shoko was killed on Friday. If we think of it as day one, today is day five. What was Saito doing during those days? I decided to ask him. <sighs> Saturday. What were you doing Saturday? Until next Saturday evening, my personality was inside Renju. My next target was Iris. Why? I knew she would be suspicious if I asked her to come to Kawasaki. So I asked her to come to Sunfish Pocket first. I called her a little before 5 p.m. And she arrived just after 6. I greeted her, then convinced her to come with me. That's when Ota saw us. Anyway, I put her in the car, then headed to the chemical plant. On the way, I made her take a sleeping pill. I knew she might run once she saw where we were going. It was around 7 p.m. when I got there, and I wasted no time switching bodies. Got there, strangled her, put him back in the car, put him in the put him in the um the canister, and then set up the whole gruesome murder scene. After getting Iris's body, I used a rolled-up apron to strangle Renju to death. Then I put his body in an empty oil drum I had prepared earlier. Yep. I put that in the trunk of the car, then headed to Sunfish Pocket. But then, something I didn't anticipate happened. Waiting for the signal in Akiba, someone knocked on the window of the car. Oh yeah, Ota saw her again. You didn't learn this the first time on this path. It's on the complete opposite path that you learned that Ota saw Iris driving, the, driving Renju's car without Renju in it. Renju is missing this entire time. It was Ota. He asked me something about being able to drive. He was surprised, to say the least. I didn't have time to waste on him, but I couldn't risk him finding the oil drum in the trunk. Plus, if word got around that Renji's car was spotted driving around Akiba... Oh, yo, bro, you came in. If you just came in, then you will have no idea what is going on right now. That would foil my plans. So, I came up with a lie. I told him that I didn't have a license, so he had to keep it a secret. That's what that thing referred to in Ota's Nile messages, by the way. And just like that, I managed to escape a bad situation and headed to Sunfish Pocket as planned. The rest went exactly as you already figured out. Okay, then what were you doing Monday with- There isn't much to talk about on Monday. Before noon, I used my old man's body to call this one. Boss, you might not know this, but she and my father go back about six years i'm not surprised by that the two shared a terrible secret hinting at that was enough to get the boss to come running to me immediately i injected her with a sedative then brought her body to the chemical plant i synced with her exchanged our bodies and after blowing my father's brains out i cut his body into pieces and put it in the jar for the maid to find I stuffed the meat into a vase I'd brought earlier, then drove back to my house. Your house? You've been living in somebody else's head while you do this. And that was before you got these bodies, okay? What about Sunday? Sunday morning, I had a recording or some such thing scheduled. Oh, I am, of course, referring to Iris. I didn't want to draw suspicion, so I decided to attend as planned. I went to Lemniscate and performed my job, and when I left, I ran into you, Date. To be honest, I was a little surprised. Just the previous night, I was a parasite in the body of Renju. 
I didn't think Ota had seen me. So, of course, I didn't expect to see you there so soon. You were on to me, but there was nothing I could do about that. If I ran, it would only increase your suspicion. So I decided to play my role. The interrogation began around 8.20 p.m., is that right? Then you sinked into my mind. But you didn't get what you were looking for, did you? As a result, you had no choice but to release me. I didn't want to go home right away. I knew there might be police waiting for me. That would make it difficult to sneak out at night. And that would put my plan in jeopardy. So I asked you to take me to Marble. I tried to find an opportunity to run, but then another unexpected event occurred. I got a Nile message from Ota. I knew I could use him. So I told him I needed his help and to meet me at Marble. And that's where I got tased. He did as I instructed him to do. And that's why he has the happy freak smile, not because he's crazy, but because Iris asked him to do it. After that, I got into the van with Ota. But because his presence was unnecessary, I asked him to stop at a convenience store to buy me something to drink. When he was gone, I took his car and drove to my parents' house where I used to live. Yes, the Sejima residence. And that's in the van where somebody uh, in the other line, this would have been where um, mother, Ota's mom, Mayumi, this is where Mayumi would have been trailing the truck wondering why it was driving itself with Iris in it, and tailing it. And this is where Ota thinks that the killer got in the car by chance, and he steals the car himself. And this explains why Iris, why both cars ended up there, and why Iris was, um, supposedly the killer at the end of that one line. Of course, I knew I couldn't just walk up and ring the doorbell. Hello, Father, it's been a long time. I was also in Iris's body at the time. But I thought I could use that to my advantage. Because you would look like, uh, Monica. So I pushed on the intercom, and sure enough, my dad invited me inside. I told him this. I want you to come with me. There's something I need to show you. He was quiet for a while, but eventually agreed, and got into the van with me. And he only agreed because you- he has to know that you're Monica's child by now. And he was already- He arrived at the prototype sync machine around 11.50. He was already black- he was already blackmailed by Hitomi at this point. By the time I was in the body of Sosajima, it was a new day. This was yesterday, early Monday morning. Past midnight. In my new body, I drugged Iris, put her in the van, and drove to a new location. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. I arrived around one, then prepared for the show for a couple hours. Of course, when I say show, I mean dismembering Iris. Because of the temperature in the warehouse, it took longer than I expected to prepare, but... Well, you saw it in the video. Of course, I didn't anticipate Ota would show up. What does that make it? Three times that brat has showed up unexpectedly? That annoyed me to no end, and I took that out on him. Dressing him up in the polar bear was an impromptu plan on my part. I didn't mean to make you think he was the killer. I just wanted to throw a wrench into the investigation. Didn't matter if you found out or not. This all happened Monday morning. I left the warehouse around 3.30 a.m. 
How did you even get in the Shoko's body then? Like you guessed, my personality was in Shoko, Renju's ex-wife. That made calling Renju easy. I need to talk to you about something. He came over without question. I think it was around 4 p.m. I had him meet me at the chemical plant. I made Renju go to sleep. Synced. Switched personalities. And then stabbed Shoko's discarded body with an ice pick. S are they not in the body anymore, if that's the case? Like, is their personality just not come back out? Are they just an empty shell? I took Shoko to Bloom Park by car, using the old abandoned subway line. Which we figured out. It must have been around 8 p.m. by the time I was finished. Which adds up. I tied up Shoko to one of the merry-go-round horses. After that, I used Renju's phone to send a Nile message to Mizuki. And that's why it was such a random, loving message from Renju, because Renju wouldn't send something like that. He doesn't really care about Mizuki that much. Then, I just waited for Mizuki to arrive. You waited for her to arrive. You were still there when she got there. Saito spoke with grace and no sign of remorse. I was trying to keep my anger from boiling over and kept asking him questions. Why did you take out your victim's eyes when Kumakura was the only one who wanted to do that? You know all about the prototype sink machine, don't you? That should explain it. I knew. The prototype sink machine differed from the one at Abyss in a few key ways. The machine at Abyss is more sophisticated. Nano cables from the sink gear enter through the. G oh! Oh my god, that makes so much sense! There's no way to enter if you don't have the fancy headgear, and the other one doesn't have the fancy headgear. I was wondering why. Okay. I. It didn't matter which eye it was, whether. Is left or right, did it? Or maybe it maybe the left eye has a better canal to go through? Oh my god, now it makes sense. This whole eyeball thing makes sense now. Cause there'd be no reason for the for them to just like take out people's eyes if they're not like interested in it. Cause Saito has no empathy or has no empathy or joy from anything but killing. He doesn't care about collecting things like eyes like Kumakura did. So he needed a path into the eye canal. Oh my god, okay. They then traveled down the optic nerve canal to the brain. But the prototype doesn't so advance to perform a sync. You need to remove the left eye manually. We can take out... We can... T and the reason we did this with Iris in the one path is because we can take out Iba because I was in our left eye and Iris had a faulty Iris had a faulty left eye and that's how we were because we were trying to cure her tumor so we went through her left eye since it was already it was already faulty and bleeding out the subject and the sinker have to remove their eye from the socket otherwise the cables can't enter through the brain even with the eye removed severing the connection to the brain isn't necessary the extracted eyeballs Still as the optic nerve and blood vessels connected after a sink, the eye is supposed to be replaced back into the socket. It's supposed to be safe. Side effects are rare. Unless the nerve or blood vessels are damaged somehow, replacing the eyeball isn't too difficult. Of course, I don't really care about eyes. Nope. That was Kumakura's thing. I don't need them. All I cared about was exchanging bodies with the sink. That- it just so happened that they were missing an eye. As a pure coincidence. Not, I needed to remove the left eye. Why didn't you just put the eyes back when you were done? That's obvious. Once I was finished transferring into a new body- He kills him, who gives a fuck at that point? 
Why would I bother replacing the eye? You don't need to hide it if you don't think you're gonna leave any trace. You're still- you're doing it to make a show in the first place. I was just going to get rid of it anyway. Do you just throw them away? Are they just gone? Shoko's is in Renju. Yeah, it's digested in his stomach. I remember learning that. Renju's is an iris. Oh, you ate all the eyes to hide the evidence. Iris's is in dad. Dad's is in boss. You ate the eyes. Their stomachs, I mean. You sick bastard. Yes, I ate them. Immediately after exchanging personalities. How horrible. But they didn't resist after waking up. Ah, the prototype sink machine has a special feature. Oh, sorry, sorry. It administers a strong dose of sedatives to the original body, and a stimulant to the host after a sink. That kept them docile. Why did you display them, then? Because you can? To harass you. Because you can. No other reason. I wanted to bring out the hatred in you. That's why I called Mizuki to Bloom Park. You wanted Mizuki to see her own parents die just so you could get to me? Because you know me somehow? That's why I streamed Iris's murder. Because they were important to you, weren't they? I wanted you to feel cornered, trapped. I wanted to punish you, Kaname Date. Probably because I'm the original officer who went with Boss and stopped Saito from killing Hitomi in number 89 or something. Homicide is my hobby. I have a tenacity for it, what can I say? Of course, it was also necessary to make sure people kept their mouths shut. If I took over someone's body, they would know about my crimes. Right. I couldn't risk them reporting me, so I killed them. It was also a matter of revenge. Against, against me, you. but I don't remember you. It's personal. That's why I chose people close to you as targets. So you can't feel joy, but you can feel fucking revenge? God, isn't that f lovely for a murderer? Well, except for my father, of course. That was personal to me, but don't ask. It's embarrassing. How are you getting revenge against me? I don't know you. This series of murders was like a journey for me. You know, traveling through bodies to finally reach the end. That's the thing about traveling. You always wind up in the same place, don't you? Where do you think that is? Back here at Abyss with me. Being interrogated, probably. Your home. So you're gonna- so something has to do with Mizuki now? The trip is only complete once you return home. The same goes for me. When I return home, my travels will come to an end. So I'll be needing it back. My body. Alright, confirmed. Confirmed. This body is the Cyclops Killers. What? You stole my body. You took it from me six years ago. That's why I want revenge. What are you talking about? You have no idea what it was like inside my own head. I miss it. I miss my brain, Date. No matter how many people I killed, it never worked. I never felt happy. I feel miserable. You... you mean... Oh, that's right. Okay, because when you kill in this body, you still have emotions, but you don't get the same rush that you do from the only way to produce that chemical. Like you do in his... our brain. 
He was born with a brain dysfunction. Yeah, yeah, I remember, I remember. Due to I've damage been... to the posterior pituitary gland, he was unable to properly secrete oxytocin. I was thinking about that so much. Oh, that's right. So where's my original body? My old body. How are you finding it, Date? This body is yours? That's what I've been telling you! But I don't have the same oxytocin deficiency you did. Yeah, Iba administers it to that us. That is because I regularly supplement it. No, Iba, Iba's listening like we are. Iba's always been talking about our dosage. Iba talks about it cons- your dosage too much. Yep. It's, talks about it all the time. But never references it anymore. No, but the person who had this disorder was number 89, the original Cyclops killer. No, number 89 took the fall so that he didn't die and went to prison so that Hitomi could still visit him. That is what I believed as well, but we must have misunderstood. Pewter did not specify who exactly was imprisoned. Correct. Only that one of the original culprits responsible was currently in prison. That's what he said, but that's not true. That's a cover-up. That's strange. That's a fat cover-up. That would mean number 89 is the previous chairman, Rohan. But he's not. That must be it. That's not it. Number 89 might have killed Rohan and faked his suicide. That could have happened. Rohan is a parasite inside number 89's brain. Oh, shit. Oh, f I didn't even think about that one. Oh, that makes it even more complicated. Peter must have known that. Peter knew that and didn't say anything? No way. I was confused. Me too, bro. I didn't understand any of it. Let us determine the specifics using Saito as our starting point. Whose brain was he in before boss? Before so he's in so. And before so? Iris. Iris. And before that, Renju. Renju, and then Shoko. And before that, Shoko. But who was he in before Shoko? And before Shoko? I was a parasite inside Rohan's brain six years ago until last year. Oh, uh, it all makes sense! Finally! That's why Shoko has connection to the Kumakuras. Oh my god. And that's why that's why her brother that's why um Moma said that about six years about after some time For some reason her her brother his brother got like psychotic and would just do horrible things not give a single fuck because it was actually Saito and at some point, to finally attack us, last year, he invited Shoko over because Shoko was already with, like in line with the Kumakuras, swapped with her, and then pushed, um, pushed Rohan off a building to fake a suicide. And then started planning the rest from there. I'd lost most of my memories. I was a shell of a man. They housed me in a special hospital. That's what they said. Yeah, that's what Moma said. But I still had those fragments of my mind left. Just as I explained earlier. From a single piece, you can recreate the whole. I took my time, slowly regaining my memories. One year ago, I remembered everything. Wait, so if that's the case, then where is number 89? Because they have to swap bodies. You can't be in Rohan without Rohan being in your original body, which you don't have. That's in me. So where is either where is number 89's body and where is my body? I left the hospital and immediately sought out Shoko Nadami. I got her body, and she was in Rohan's. Right. When she saw herself in the mirror, she 
lost her mind. She was confused, panicking, running up the emergency staircase, and then... Got it, never mind. She, Shoko committed suicide, seeing herself in Rohan's body. That's why Rohan committed suicide. Because it was Shoko. After that, I spent a year perfecting my plan using Shoko's body. I spied on you all this time. And that's how we and we got into contact last year. But it also means that Shoko was still a shitty parent before before um, we took in Mizuki, by the way. Shoko is still a bad parent. That's why I know everything about you. And before Rohan? In there, in that body you are operating right now, in that skull, my personality lived there. Then what happened to number 89? Wait, hold on. If what you're saying is true, what about my personality? Yeah, where is my body? It was in Rohan. How? You can't, you can't, you can't three-way this. I'm not Rohan. Correct. It is just as he explained earlier. Number 89 was in Rohan's body. 89 was in Rohan's body. In other words. That's my body? That's... I'm number 89. 80, number 89 is my body, but with my personality? My real... Oh, and that's where the interrogation happened, where he needed, they tortured number 89, and they tortured him by swapping their bodies. Nihilistic number 89 is us? That's us, meaning Hitomi? Hitomi is our <laughs> Hitomi is our girlfriend. Hitomi is our girlfriend. Iris is basically my daughter. And until I swapped into his body, that's when Mizuki became basically my daughter as well. Sorry, but time's up. I want my body back. Uh, fuck off. It's quite simple. Sink with me and stay inside my mind for more than six minutes. And if I refuse, and why should I do that? <laughs> I know that you won't. I can't get boss back, so what's gonna, what's it matter? I know it. Huh? Why would I not? Pewter. Daddy, look, this is streaming live. They got Mizuki. I knew they had Mizuki. He was talking about home so much. He was talking about home. They got music. Wait, no. <gasps> it's told me. My girlfriend. Damn you. I suddenly realize I have a girlfriend. If you give me back my body, I will give you the location. Oh, and of course, it isn't the chemical plant in the Kawasaki district. Iba, where's the source? It is being routed through numerous IPs. I cannot identify the source. Pewter, contact headquarters now. Got it. Now. What will you do? Will you agree to my request? We have to. We have to. We have to. We have to save Atomi. We... See, I knew you wouldn't refuse. I know you will. Don't I, Date? Oh, you crazy bitch. Oh my god, you psychotic motherfucker. No way Date no way Date would say no. Iba, get out of his head. <laughs> So we're in Boss's body? I did it. I'm back. 
I got it all back. And boss is hey, Where's Hatomi? Boss's body is just gone forever. All right. I'll tell you as promised. Boss's house. However, it might be too late by now. Pretty obvious, yeah. We knew that was going to happen. Knew that was going to happen. Boom. Not surprised by that. Why? So, boss is just gone forever. He didn't say to leave her alive. That's what I said. Yep. I didn't lie. I kept my. I knew that was the fucking case. You bastard! Yeah, we have we have a broken leg and a broken arm. Injured that body. It's your own fault, really. Damn it! Be seeing you. And I'm a get out of his head, bro. Yeah, kill this bitch. Good job, Iva. Good job, Iva. Date, are you all right? I don't know. I'm in a boss's body. Iva's voice barely resonated. My eyesight was hazy, a heap of broken images. Sweat was building in my palms. I felt like my throat was closing up and struggling for breath. In my ears, the rushing blood of my heartbeat was the only sound. Everyone's dead. Shoku, Renju, Iris, Ota, Hitomi, Boss, they're all dead. And Boss is dead for, basically because we can't get their personality back. The flesh remains, the mind is lost. I couldn't do anything. Saito had me right where he wanted me. Nothing. Nothing. Parallel worlds exist. The words suddenly echoed in my head. I couldn't remember who, where, or why, but I thought that if there really was such a world, then me in that world, I is another. Could I have had a better future? I prayed that I could. I felt my consciousness sneak into the black abyss. Okay, so... That... The Saito Sejima ending question mark? Oh my god, there's so much to think about. Which means when I go back to the next, in the next, pa in the back and the other path, only Renju and Shoko are dead. Which means we still have a chance. The, um. We'll get our own body back. Because number 89 is actually us. And we don't know what happened to number 89 originally. Falco is gone. Actual Falco? Gone. Don't know him. But that's our body. So Renju, or Saito, took number 89, Rohan, to get my body, killed Rohan, and now brought me here with Atomi to get my body so that he can have his own original body back. Uh, the threads. Annihilation route. End. Would I like to save? Yes, I would. Well... We got shit to do. We're gonna cut this part here. And in the next one, hopefully we're gonna find out if we can actually have a better future. We're not anybody we care about is dead other than who's already been lost. Until then.